Hi there, Capricorn, and welcome back to Star Lotus Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of September, sorry, not September, October, the 5th through to the 11th. I went ahead, shuffle of cards, lay them all out. Let's see what's going on for Cappy. First up, we have Major Arcana, the Strength card in the upright, followed then by the Ten of Swords reversed. Next, we have the Eight of Wands in the upright, followed then by the Nine of Wands reversed. And lastly, we have the Page of Wands. Okay, Capricorn, what's happening here? Well, you know what? Whatever's going on, you have the Strength <laughs> card here to carry you through this week. Beautiful, beautiful energy. I like the Strength card because this represents that sort of inner uh, gentle strength that comes from within. This is not about brute strength in any way. This is about that inner strength that we all possess inside of us. Now, the reason why I believe that the yellow is, is so strong in this card is because it activates the solar plexus, which is the, 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 the chakra of our will, of our of our confidence. So it could be this week, Capricorn, maybe you're just, you know, drawing upon your own inner strength. And believe me, Capricorn has a lot of inner strength. And I've seen it. And it's amazing. And I don't think any other sign can even come close to the inner strength that Capricorn can possess when in a pinch, when in a difficult situation. They're truly admirable people. It's, um, yeah, it's great. So, you know, it's wonderful. I just went off on a, a little Capricorn, yay Capricorn tangent there, but it's all good. I, I do admire the Capricorn strength. So this is beautiful. This is about you drawing upon that strength that you're so good at. And it's good to have that. You could be feeling that in abundance all week long, going through whatever it is you're navigating through this week. Now, right at the beginning of the week, we do have the Ten of Swords here in the reverse position. Ten of Swords in the upright. This is where we went through a situation. Now, for some of you, it could have been uh, at home. It could have been at work. It could have been uh, in a relationship. But whatever the situation was, your finances, your health, something bottomed out here where it hit critical mass in the Ten of Swords in the upright. But it went to the reverse position, which means you're starting to heal from it. So whatever, if somebody took advantage of you, if it was a difficult situation in your family, in your uh, work situation, whatever it is, you're starting to heal from that. So that's really good news. The, the swords are starting to fall out of the back of this person. So definitely good news. Um, and then we move on to the beautiful Eight of Wands in the upright position. This is really nice energy. The Eight of Wands is where... Um, there's a lot of communication, a lot of things moving very quickly. So if you had a stagnation in a situation, say somebody maybe was not talking to you or was not communicating or was not like ghosted you or something like that. It could be now the communication is coming through fast and furious. For others of you, this is arrows of love find their mark. Maybe there's a new person on the horizon for you romantically and uh, maybe you're on dating sites and you're or maybe you just met someone new and you're communicating back and forth uh, lots of action lots of activity going on there for others of you this is good news in terms of if you put out your resume out there maybe you're getting a lot of uh, people you know responding back to you which is really good um, others of you good news again if you work for yourself if you're in business for yourself this could be a lot of like um, clients that you're getting or that are communicating with you or it could be orders coming back and forth throughout um, others of you this could be about a need to take quick travel somewhere because wands do govern travel so it could be that maybe you're communicating with somebody back and forth maybe making travel plans because you have to go somewhere could be for work could be for emergency could be for whatever the situation is now remember it's just a general read so it's different for all of you not everyone is going to resonate for this with this so if that's the case try checking your uh, moon your rising or your venus sign that could help you uh, maybe that will resonate for you but moving on towards the weekend we do have the nine of wands in the reverse position this is the wounded warrior card in the upright position this is where we fought many challenges on the same subject and we're 
a little bit worse for wear, but we're ready to fight another day if we should have to. When the card is inverted like this, this is where we could be coming into peacetime, where there is no more challenge there. We sort of see that in the beginning of the week with the Ten of Swords reversed. This is where uh, some of you Capricorns who may have been hit with a really, really difficult situation. Could have been in your relationship, could have been in your work situation, home situation, financial health. Again, it's just a general read, so it would be different for all of you. Only take what resonates. So if you bottomed out with something where it's just you hit the end of the, the road with a situation, you could see that coming to an end this week where, you know, peace is finally being restored. Situations are finally resolving themselves and healing has begun. And then you end off the week with the beautiful energies of the Page of Wands. Uh, this is great news. This is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is fire energy. That of Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. Well, this is good news coming towards Capricorn right at the very end of the week. It could be messages coming from someone. Maybe it's someone new on the romantic front. This could be someone messaging you, and maybe it's very exciting. The Page of Wands, very passionate, very fast-moving. Um, could be news about travel too because the page of wands can be a travel agent or someone like that who's got news for you about maybe your itinerary or where you need to go others of you this could be news of uh, a parcel arriving maybe you've been waiting for a parcel in the mail could be com uh, conversations uh, phone calls or um emails maybe you've been waiting you put your resume out there remember we talked about resumes out there and perhaps now you're finally getting the message from one of these companies that yes we would like to you know we'd be interested in interviewing you or something like that it's exciting messages no matter how you slice it it's a very very there's a lot of excitement going on here it's it's putting an end to the old crap if you want I don't know how else to put it but it's like you're putting an end to the old crap here Capricorn you're standing strong you're putting an end to the old crap here's you standing in your strength and now you've got excitement and forward movement going towards the future so it's I don't know it's a it's a really cool reading it's not like over the top exceptional but I think I mentioned this to you in the October monthlies that Capricorn's been working steadily towards something and there's going to be some big changes coming up for Capricorn but you're right at the precipice of it right now you've been experiencing some highs some lows well I mean it is 2020 everybody's been experiencing highs and lows but it's things are about to get really um, much better and I think the um, difficulties will be you know a thing of the past very soon for you Cappy so hang in there all right <laughs> much love namaste take good care if the reading helped you, please feel free to love, sh love share. <laughs> yes, do that. Love, share, and subscribe. <laughs> and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.